sorry. Uh, all right, now. Sorry. Sorry about that introduction, Ty. Our new cue card writer came directly here from Harlequin Romances. <laughs> Congratulations on the game last night, huh? Great goal. You got a goal. Good, uh, good fight. I mean, we're not here to talk about that stuff, but it was a good fight as well. Well, it was just a, a big two points for us, and uh, mm -hmm. we're coming down the stretch here, and uh, obviously it was a big win for us, and, uh, you know, playing against Buffalo, obviously, with Dominic Hasek, it's tough to get goals, and yeah. when I can c contribute that way and help the team, it's a, it's a bonus for the hockey team, and, uh, you know, definitely uh, winning against them is a big, you know, accomplishment right. for our team. Right. Yeah, so, I mean, most people don't know so much, but you have a soft side as well. You've got the big uh, sports dinner coming up, charity dinner. Yeah, actually, uh, at Royal York, March 15th. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm kind of looking forward to all my teammates to be there. And, uh, of course, Don Cherry's going to be there, which uh, mm -hmm. makes uh, the whole night pretty interesting. And, uh, you know. <laughs> but, You're uh, not Swedish, are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, Don, uh, you know, he, he's got a soft side to him, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah. He's, uh, now, what, what, uh, what is the dinner? Who does the dinner benefit? Uh, actually, it's going to benefit Rose, the, the Rose Cherry Home, which is... Uh, mm -hmm for children that are terminally ill and get to spend time with their families, uh, unfortunately, before, you know, the day happens. And uh, right. it's in a, it's in a um, kind of a house atmosphere, but with doctors and nurses right on 24 hours. And it's, uh, it's quite expensive to, uh, to get it going. And uh, right. I'm trying to help Don get it going. And uh, we're being pretty successful, getting a lot of support. And uh, obviously, right. that's going to be half the money. And the other half is going to be to the Variety Village who uh, obviously uh, the government's cut back on them a little bit and uh, you know it's uh, it's a great cause I've been there a few times to see those children that uh, are kind of uh, disabled to do things and uh, you know they go there it's like their home and well, you know so, it's, it's yeah. to help them out too. Very worthy event. I yeah, think everybody sure should uh, try and go. Up and Last night, uh, last night when I saw the fight, I saw you go like this after. <laughs> I didn't mean to touch you. I didn't have to. Miss you. But, but well, is that uh, would that should that imply to us that you're really buddies off the ice? You know, you guys well, uh, you actually, get into a big uh, dust up, go out for a beer. You know, him and I have been doing doing that uh, battling for a long time since we've been pretty much 15 years old and junior. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, that's about 14 years now. 13 years. Him and I have been kind of. Having those tussles and uh, you know, 14 or 15 years. Yeah, we all the way back to the OHL days. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, he played wow. in Cornwall. I played in Peterborough. So, and uh, actually, him and I were roommates uh, at, at the OHL draft, wow. uh, NHL draft. Sorry, wow. so he got drafted. Hey, you guys lost your security deposit a lot of the time. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, he's a, he's a good guy, and uh, you just show respect for one another. And uh, you know, they were down two nothing, and he tried to get his team going, and I would have done the yeah. kind of the same thing. Yeah. So. You know what I like about you though? You're a scrapper, but you got a lot of heart too, boy. You're a real team player. You really. <laughs> you know, you really now, uh, somebody was uh, somebody was telling me today there uh, was a time when your mother uh, disapproved of your rough play out there on the ice. Well, How is she with that now? Well, well actually, uh, my mother to this day has uh, only watched me play hockey once, and. Uh, that was when Wayne Gretzky's in town this year, <laughs> so <laughs> she's just like. Well, there's a tough guy, huh? She, <laughs> well, my mom's never come to watch me play, and uh, she's been on that since I've been a kid. I started hockey when I was 10 years old uh, for that one reason. My mother, she uh, was worried I would get hurt and whatnot. And, yeah. But to this day, she still doesn't watch me play, and uh, she's watching yeah. the news, and she sees a highlight of me uh, fighting or whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> she won't talk to me for a month or two, so. <laughs> I don't so, feel bad about it. My mother doesn't watch me either. <laughs> well, from what I understand, you don't watch much hockey, so... Oh, I watched last night's game, my friend, because I knew you were coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I, actually, I watched, your, I watched, I watched uh, your show last night. I watched a couple of Tiger Williams games last week, too, because I knew he was coming. <laughs> yeah. Actually, he's my idol growing up as a kid. Yeah, so. somebody told me that as well. It's, uh, yeah, you he, really idolized uh, Tiger. Yeah, he's actually going to be at the dinner, too, which is going to be kind of exciting, too. He's, yeah, uh, I bet. He'll really spice it up with Don, and I'm yeah. really looking forward to it. Yeah. What do you think he'll be eating? Something wrong? <laughs> well, he's a, he's a big hunter. He's a huge hunter. I know. He hunts he was bears. About it last week when he was here. He hunts bears and whatnot. Yeah. And I'm yeah. not much of a hunter or fisher, yeah. but yeah. Tiger. He was telling me off camera. He's just going to ignore that uh, Ontario uh, bear hunting band. He's going out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, he won't be using a gun. <laughs> maybe a bit of a loophole in the law there. They won't be able to nail him. You know. <laughs> Maybe you, should, maybe you should use that uh, thing the barber used on your hair to go hunting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ty, uh, 
Hey, that's too far. Too far. We're not uh, wearing protective equipment right now, and I don't see your gang. <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm saying pretty close to him. Keith's the one that told me to give you a little ribbon, actually. Yeah, I know, I know. That's all right. But, Keith told you to do it? Keith, one of our segment producers? That's all right, I'll let you off. <laughs> In all honesty, though, I, uh, I'm a big fan of yours, too. And well, wanna, thank you very much. Wanna, I, it's a uh, real honor to hear that. Thank I want to congratulate you. You're doing a great job for Canada and Toronto, and make, you're making us proud. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Truer words were never spoken because, uh, like the rest of the country, you differentiate between Canada and Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, on a, we're in our own league in Toronto, I guess. Right? That's what they all say everywhere else in Canada. So. Uh, what's life after hockey going to be like for you? Because I heard you've done a lot of acting. No, actually, I acted once in a movie last summer. I was uh, in a movie, uh, Men of Means. I was a, believe it or not, I was a hitman. And <laughs> I was a hitman in a, in a mobster movie, and uh, it was quite a, you know, it was quite exciting. And then I kind of. Uh, I did it, and there's a lot of sitting and waiting around, so I don't think I want to do it ever again. Yeah. Well, but, aren't you uh, used to sitting and waiting around in that little box? <laughs> you know, I was, I was waiting for you to start firing at me, so fire away. <laughs> Actually, last night we did a little joke about you in the monologue, uh, or maybe it was Monday night, I don't know. They all meld together. I don't like the monologue. <laughs> Uh, about Saturday night, saying that you were taking down the family photos and the penalty box disconnected the gas and the cable. <laughs> well, actually, we have a lot in common. Actually, my I'm you know close with my son. I got a lot of bonding. He's only three years old, but uh -huh. you know I brought him to the old, uh, closing of the gardens. And I happened to meet your son a few weeks ago, and I, um, you know he told me how great of a father you are. He used to walk five miles to school with him every day. Uh -huh. Well, I just seen him backstage, and he told me you guys were in the same class. I was like, oh. <laughs> Not that great, my father. <laughs> That's right, Hot Shot. We both graduated. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Very nice to meet hey, you. I know you have to leave now. You're uh, kind of busy what with the season up and running, and uh, it was a real uh, pleasure to have you drop by. Please come again. Thank you very much. Hi, Domi, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I, I, you know, I told you I'd come back on the show again, and uh, I'd like to come back here and bring the Stanley Cup to you. That's what I'd like All to All right. Yeah. I, uh, I would love it if you did that, because I'm pretty sure I'd get at least 100 grand for it. <laughs> Tied on me, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned for KDM. <laughs> There's something I've been meaning to ask you. I'll see. Here's five bucks. Go away.